Hi, right, today what we're going to do is show you how to install a pistol grip on your Mossberg 500 shotgun. Not all of them are going to be the same, but we'll try to give you the best one anyway. This is an eBay grip, very easy to get a hold of, $25 shipped. Um, it's probably not going to be something you're going to want to use every day, but it'll work. What it comes with is a bolt to hold it, a cap to uh, hide the bolt from you. We're going to just use some basic screwdrivers today. We're going to need an Allen wrench and probably a socket, but we'll see when we get there. So first what you're going to want to do is take the butt pad off, which is going to require a medium-sized screwdriver, Phillips head. The screws will stay right into the plastic. And once that's off, um, usually it's like a 5 16 bolt or so that holds it in. This one has a straight slot head, so what we're going to do, take a little flashlight to see in there. First, you actually have to take this off. This bolt goes right in front of the path of our screwdriver. We're going to use a 3 16 Allen wrench. I like to use a T-handle. Not all guns will have this, but this one happened to come with it. So we aren't complaining. Alright, now we can try this again. Some of them might be kind of tight, but you probably all don't have tools to get the socket way in there. And that's that. Okay. Now, we'll make sure this fits before we try to get too far ahead of ourselves. Looks like it's got a good fit. What we're going to do is... We always try to Loctite everything on a gun. I've had multiple stocks come loose, foregrips when you're using it. It's not any fun. Just a little bit of blue on the threads will do it. Blue is good because it's removable. So next time you have to take it off, you'll be able to. You could probably get a wrench in there, but I don't like screwing around. That ought to do it. Looks like this one shifted a little bit, so just make sure you always double check before you pop everything back on. That's what happens when you get one from eBay. But hey, what are you going to do? The primary uh, reason we're doing this to this gun is because it doesn't see field time very much. We're just going to use it as a home defense weapon. Um, what we did earlier today, you can probably see that, we did cut the barrel off. Uh, we used a bandsaw with a vise, um, like a machine shop would have. We kind of buffed the edges, got the burrs out. Um, I'm going to get some perma blue, and we're going to blue that up so we won't have any rust to worry about. This is how much we took off right here. Uh, basically, in Michigan, we're fairly certain that our laws are you have to have at least a 30 inch overall, and this gives us about 31. And the barrel has to be at least 18. If you actually have to shove a dowel down into the barrel, and the first thing it hits with the bolt closed is your legal length. Um, this one actually is about 20, uh, with an overall length of 31. So. We should be good. It's a good, good home defense weapon to keep uh, keep under the mattress or you know whatever movie cliche you want to have it. So that's basically what you're going to end up with. It takes about five minutes, some basic tools, and that's all there is to it. Always remember to check and make sure the firearm is unloaded. Obviously, we did that before, and I just hate when everybody spends ten minutes before the video. So that's all we have. Till next time. Thanks for watching.